ओके वेलकम एवरी वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी गुड लेक्चर ओवर अनदर ड्रोन डेटा प्रोसेसिंग सीरीज ओके सो लाइक लास्ट वीक वी आर सीन द टेक्निक हाउ वील गोइंग टू प्रोसेस अ ड्रोन डेटा इन आर्क जी एस प्रो सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वील गोइंग टू प्रोसेस अ ड्रोन डेटा अंडर द ड्रोन टू मैप सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो uh so let's start uh, the session so that we can get an idea how we'll going to upload and process the drone data over here so this is in general interface as you seen when you open a drone to maps when you install the drone to maps so then you will get uh, this uh, informations like this type of uh, you can say uh, the interface will come okay and the next important things which you have to know that is here in drone to maps you can activate it with your arcgis online account okay so simply you can use your arcgis login account so that you can activate this drone to map okay so now the very first uh, things which we will going to do it here see here here we have a different templates for the 2d for 3d batch processing multi spectral templates and even thermal templates is also there okay so there is a different types of templates which you can use for this purposes okay so now here either you can add other all the single images or better you can go to that particular folder where you have all your images okay so here i'm just simply click on add folder okay and see i have to go to the folder where i have my data okay so i'm just going that particular folder so here we have this image edit training okay so we will just need to search that particular data okay so here under the data we have this subdivision drone data sets okay so simply click on okay so you just see here so once you just select that particular folder na so by default the all the uh, drone data of that particular locations those are actually updated automatically okay so these are the very first apps which you have to do it here okay so now we will go to the next step so next step is you have to give some project name to create some project here okay so actually you have to do this this first but anyway i am just going to do it now so wherever i want to save my project na so first you have to give some name like uh, drone um, data okay the drone data analysis so this is the name i provided okay so and you you know means where you have to save this so you can go to the browse and you just need to select that particular locations where you want to save your data so i'm just going to save all my data over here so that will be better to i will go simply uh, to the locations and here suppose i'm just going to save all better i will go one more steps there only to save the data exact with that particular locations okay so this is the place where i am just going to save this data with the name of drone data analysis so once you give the project name and the locations and you added uh, the you can say all the drone images which you captured and then uh, which templates you want to work 2d templates 3d templates multispectral data or uh, you can say thermal so that you have to select here properly and then you can just simply click on the create to uh, create this particular first project which you want to launch okay so let's see let's wait to see the display so this is the very fast uh, view we will get over this particular image okay so and you just see here so once you uh, just open this now so this image is actually count should show that 40 images to be added in this particular project so there is so almost 40 different images which we have in here so drone to map you will see the 2d and 3d maps which will add it to the display okay so the flight line this is basically the flight line pattern in the 2d maps which will actually uh, be visible based on the arrangement of the input data okay so accordingly it is actually coming so now if you want to see for the each image how it is looking so simply click on that okay and you can able to see the image you can see if you just click this arrow so one by one it will show 
okay or if you want to click over here suppose okay so you can see that image from here also so this is we call as a image viewer so image viewer will appear in the new window which is actually showing the individual image for your review so you can scroll through the images which will added to the project so the purpose of this image viewer is actually it is allow you to review the input images before the imagery product can create so some of the images may not be uh, you can say satisfactory to your project so you can remove those images from this processing here okay so uh, you can also mark up the images with the notes based on the review so I'll see here so you can mark up those things okay and if you want to remove so you can remove it also so that is the process of how you can add or uh, check whatever the data sets you are actually adding for this processing so that you can do it here so uh, here in drone to map uh, we can produce many different imagery output okay so you specifically study the uh, requirements indicate uh, for this particular purpose okay so we must need uh, suppose a uh, ortho mosaic data a uh, digital terrain model or in some case digital surface model okay or uh, uh, 3d point cloud so all these things if you want you can able to create it here so now uh, if you want to produce uh, the, the the 2d uh, products and 3d products okay like 2d products like ortho mosaic digital surface models all these things you want to produce okay so simply go to this options and here you have uh, options to produce whatever you want okay so you can click on all those informations here okay like if you want the uh, the the ortho mosaic see i will check on this ortho mosaics if you want a digital surface model so it is already check on okay with that if you want a digital terrain model okay so that also you can able to create so digital surface model digital terrain model okay so for that the 2d products whatever you want okay so that is ortho mosaic okay so if you want so all these things you can able to uh, use here and you can create it okay so as as of whatever you want it here actually okay now uh, for the uh, ortho rectification method i'm not going to select anything here but if yes if you want there is a multiple uh, uh, different uh, drone products will be there if there is a uh, seeing the contrast difference then you can go for the color balancing okay so that it will make a during the seamless mosaicing one it will going to create so there is a no uh, not much variations you will find from one image to the another image okay so the next important thing is 3d products if you want to create so whatever the 3d products you want okay you can select uh, those uh, 3d product also so for this suppose uh, dsm texture meshes i want to create this as lpk files okay and uh, uh, the point clouds if you want to create then you can create this uh, last uh, file links okay so that is you have to select properly okay for the 3d products whatever you want to activate it here okay like create 3d create meshes if you want to create a mesh uh, mesh model okay so in that case also you can create this slpk files okay and uh, you can general the mesh settings if you want to enhance the texture of the mesh so uh, that also you can check on accordingly okay so uh, this is the in general process to create the 3d meshes 3d meshes and other things so now if all all things are will find so okay so all these things are fine so you the coordinates also you can uh, select accordingly and you can see but it is here there only it will show you which place it is location of the project images and the log files which you are going to create it okay so this is in general basic adjustments which you want to able once you can control it from here so general informations like point clouds uh, the projection resolutions what it will be okay so that uh, you can control it from here okay so then keep international uh, intermediate products if you want okay so for this case i am just clearing no 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 okay so then uh, you can simply click on okay and apply so let's click okay apply and okay uh, now in these steps we will going to see uh, we will going to add a ground control points okay to improve the outputs by linking to the ground measurements okay so for that you have to go to this control and you can click on this import control so wherever you have this data so uh, that you want to uh, import from the drone to map control uh, export okay so that you have to change it 
So now uh, click on this uh, import drone to map control export options and then simply click on OK to go to this browse where you have the data. So you have the data over there only. So you just uh, need to go to that particular locations where you are actually store this data. So I am just going to that particular folder. Just a minute. So that will be yeah. So this will be here. Let's return material and change it. Okay, so under this we have all the data under this. So if you see here, this is a G GCPs of the sub division zip files, whatever we have it here. So simply I can click on OK. Okay, so once I click OK, so now you just see my GCPs are will uploaded here. Okay, so now once these GCPs are uploaded, you can simply click on OK. To and you can see over this maps you can able to see your GCPs also okay so this is the GCPs which you can able to see with that so this new GCP files which is appeared in this map are actually uh, with uh, this green symbols you can able to see it here so GCPs are actually important for the drone data to aid the uh, improving this accuracy of the data collected okay so as the quality of this ground control uh, which will improve okay the positional accuracy of this created imagery products which also going to improve here okay so in these steps you will indicate the products you want to create the gcps and configure this is this particular parameters uh, which will going to create during uh, this processing okay so let's see for that so now uh, this are uh, ready okay so we can start the processing to create all this outputs whatever we are actually given like uh, we we want a dm uh, we want a dsm okay digital surface model ortho mosaics okay so we want those all things and uh, we can able to create okay so this now all everything is fine so it will take a quite minute time okay to creating this whole product so only things you have to do it you just simply need to click over here under this home tab <coughs> you have this processing now so you can need to start this button to create all these products okay so you just simply click uh, on this so it is actually started processing of all those products okay so it will take few minutes time to finish this processing okay so once it will process then definitely we will going to show you over that so we will wait for few minutes to getting as uh, this all products which is actually going to run now so now you can see it is stay it is started the processing so it is taking so much time to process this data okay but uh, don't stop or something anything else okay so you have to uh, wait patiently so all these things will going to start one by one by the processing so once the processing will done you will get we can able to see all the outputs here in this uh, view only image view only so let's wait for the results yes now it is see uh, adjustment of the image was done uh, dense matching process is also done now it is generating the 2d products so after this it will going to generate the 3d products so once it will done then you will going to see the all the products so now as of uh, you can see that already uh, the digital surface model is already generated and uh, there is few more products like ortho mosaic is also going to generate very soon okay and uh, once uh, we will get this 3d products will will, will go to process so after finishing all the steps we will see all the products in this uh, view window so let let's see for the other products also so the next output is also generated you just see here this is the ortho mosaic which is already generated okay so digital terrain model surface model and ortho mosaic so whatever the products we are given so that is final products which is actually going to prepare and uh, it is still uh, pr in a processing mode so once it will done you can see the 3d products also in the 3d maps okay so we're going to show you that just give we will we'll need to wait for a few more minutes okay so we are now uh, finished uh, to processing all this okay so it is take quite time to get all these products okay so it is almost uh, 40 to 50 minutes time it will take to creating all these products so th this is the very first product which is the ortho mosaic if you see this is the ortho mosaic product okay this is the uh, dem products which is basically the digital surface model products okay if you just see this is a digital surface model product and uh, this is the digital 
uh, terrain model product okay so this is the three products which will going to generate okay so under the dem you will get these two products like digital surface model and digital terrain model and and you will get over that as orthomodic products and if you want to see your 3d products then you have to come to here okay and uh, let's see let's open this 3d products whatever it will be going to generate okay so it will take few minutes time to open it and uh, you can give yes uh, you can able to see the 3d products over here also okay so that is the way uh, uh, okay so if you see here and uh, this is the uh, 3d products if you just go little tilt okay and you can able to see the 3d mesh products which is already there okay so this is the dsm mesh and this is the 3d mesh so, so 3d mesh is looking much better and smoother uh, than the dsm mesh okay so this is a dsm mesh if you see over this so uh, that's all uh, from my side so okay so this is the very interesting chapter over means uh, lecture over the drone data okay so over the drone to map so last week we learned the drone data processing in arcgis pro and this is on the drone to map so thank you so if you like my channel please uh, subscribe and share this video to others okay thank you very much thank you very much all thank you